I'm Robert Scoble, and uh, Shell Israel and I are writing a book called The Age of Context, where we're studying companies who are uh, getting us into this new age where the products are going to be personalized for us and also assist us in living our lives. And I found a, a, a great target today uh, from the company Signals. And we're going to hear all about it right now. Who are you? I'm Prashant. I'm co-founder and CEO of a company called Signals. Uh, we work in, uh, we are developing this application called Shifu, which is a contextual to-do reminder app. Uh, before this, I was part of a team at uh, Spice Lab. We were like, uh, we had a portfolio of some 20 app, which got 53 million download worldwide. Wow. And so, yeah, my interest was always to do something which kind of enhance productivity of people and help them make smart use of their smartphone. So I come up with this thing. And I'm going to tell you more about it. As yeah. This was the interview. So, um, uh, you know, I'm writing a book on context, and we're, we're studying how the mobile phone and these Google Glass or wearable computers are going to give us signals mm -hmm. that companies like yours can study and serve us, mm -hmm. right? And mm -hmm. and uh, Shifu is a to-do app, basically, yeah. right? D tell me how it works and why it's different than other to-do apps on the market. Yeah. See, the core premise behind uh, Shifu is that uh, when you use any connected device, you're using, uh, generating a lot of data on the network. And these are like those, those breadcrumb. If somebody mine them intelligently, they can predict a lot of behavioral pattern. And we are looking at this data with a specific use case that, okay, can we predict what is your context? How much of free time you have? So this app sits on your phone, mine all your data, and try to predict that, okay, at this point of time, you are, might have five minutes of free time and you, this is what you're most likely to do. Maybe you want to return a phone call to your mom, or maybe if you're in a certain neighborhood, you look at the geographical signals and say, maybe in a certain neighborhood you want to go shopping, or maybe you want to check out the Museum of Modern Art if you are in like uh, this San Francisco neighborhood. And maybe you, you want to read an article. So we look at all this thing, what you have done historically, if somebody's birthday is today, maybe you want to wish them good luck and happy birthday. So these are the things we look at and predict. So I've interviewed the guy who started Moves, which is a health health app, a, mm. an exercise app, mm. and he can already tell uh, whether you're running, walking, mm. uh, driving, mm -hmm. um, or biking. Mm -hmm. You seem to add another context, which is free time. <laughs> Do yeah. I have any time that I'm just sitting around, you know, on the couch or whatnot? Yeah, not necessarily that, but like that, like for that's one use case. But like there are unscheduled free time. So for example, I come to meet you and there was like, you might be stuck in traffic and there might be 15 minutes of delay in our meeting. Yeah. What can I possibly do in that 15 minutes to make it more productive use of my time? Maybe I have an email waiting or maybe I want to call somebody who is in the neighborhood and maybe we can catch up for coffee after the meeting. Or maybe I can uh, wish good luck to somebody uh, who just changed a job. And maybe there's a pending phone call. People are trying to reach me and I haven't able to find time to return those phone calls. So the thing is, for example, let's say I'm in a uh, situation where I have Wi-Fi and I have 15 minutes. And can somebody remind me that, hey, maybe you want to watch a TED Talk. I have terrible record of catching up on TED Talks. I want yeah. to do that. But when I have time in the right context, nobody nudge me. So, so did you have to put that on your, uh, to watch this TED Talk onto your to-do list? Or is that just a general, I like to watch TED Talks? So or right now there are two categories of alert. One, it picks up automatically. So we are picking up from your call log, which call you might want to uh, return or my, which call you might want to make. And then we are picking up your f social signal from Facebook. And then there are certain you can define on your own. Let's see it so we have better sure. context of what it actually does. Yeah. So that's it. This is Shifu, your smart friend in your smartphone. Yeah. So this app is like that uh, smart buddy you have on your phone, which monitors all your behavior and know what you need to do and suggest. So right now it has estimated that I might have 12 minutes of free time. And as I told, it's not picking up from the calendar. It's looking at your data and statistically mining it. Now, what are the recommendations it's uh, the, In this 12 minute, I might want to call Vijay, my friend who is in the neighborhood. Or I might want to uh, wish happy birthday to my friend Anil. You can like go through this card deck. Here's it in alert based on the location. So you might want to go Moscone West, and I set it long back, you know, or you maybe might want to go to track space, you know. And if I want to act on any of this recommendation, all I need to do is simply uh, do a single tap, and it brings the contextual menu. 
So, for example, in case of birthday, it gives me an option to call and go to the Facebook page. Yeah. If I, for example, in certain other use case where it is things like uh, contact Troy, all I when I click the when I click on it, it essentially gives me a contact menu which is more suitable. So here I yeah. can contact via call, SMS, or email, and things like that. So when I click on this, for example, in case of birthday, it takes me directly to the Facebook and I can write on the page of the person and I can write on this thing and automatically this thing got removed from the... No, that makes sense. Yeah. How, how many of these tasks are automatically generated for you? Like birthdays might yeah. be automatically yeah. generated cool. versus explicit things like I need to get a hammer at the, at the hardware store. Yeah, so that kind of activity you have to punch in. So you can actually uh, enter this thing over here with this menu so you can define activities based on availability of time so you can say hey when I have like say 15 minutes remind me to uh, let's say call my mom yeah the eight minute you know so you can simply say call yeah you don't need to show yeah. me but yeah. I get the point that yeah. you're gonna be able to put yeah to do's on there based on how much time you have, yeah. where your location yeah. is. What kind of Wi-Fi connectivity you have. Uh, oh, so you're looking at the Wi-Fi, yeah. you're starting to do a little bit of yeah. indoor mapping stuff yeah. as well. Yeah, so we are saying that, okay, if you're connected to certain Wi-Fi, maybe you want to do certain things. So let's say if you're connected to home Wi-Fi, maybe you want to, uh, uh, let's say, upload those pictures you took during the weekend trip, you know. Uh, or maybe you're connected to wi office Wi-Fi, people are putting in things like, hey, uh, file the expense report. Got so, it. You know, so there are th people are using Wi-Fi for two kind of activity right now. Looking at our data, interestingly, first is the activity which are bandwidth constrained. So if I want to watch TED Talk or I want to watch Netflix, uh, somebody need to remind me when I'm connected to Wi-Fi. Another yeah. is they're also using Wi-Fi, interestingly, as a place marker. Yep. So then they bring a kick in those things where they use Wi-Fi as an identifier of a certain place. Yeah, in office. here at, at work I have a mm. rack space uh, Wi-Fi and at home I have mm. my Scobalizer Wi-Fi, yeah. right? So. The, that phone, as soon as it sees those two Wi-Fi spots, it knows exactly yeah. where we are. Right? Um, we also is, this is for Android only right now? Right now, sorry, it's okay. Android. And I, uh, tell me a little bit about how you're thinking you're going to make money with this, because it, it, it's not very obvious how, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, how you're going to get paid for this. Oh, yeah. like, so for example, there are multiple ways this app can make money. So if you might have noticed a subtle design choice we have made over here, that we are launching a Facebook app. We could have easily provided an interface where you could have simply said happy birthday and it will publish on the feed, but we are launching that. You know, so at a scale, we can think of a business model where we can go to developer and say, okay, you know what, tell me what is the most uh, suitable time for launching your app and I'll surface your app at that point of time. Yeah. So I know Robert Scoobal uh, reads um, Flipboard yeah. uh, in afternoon for 10 minutes. You know? Oh, so you're watching what apps I actually look So we're lo uh, looking at a lot of data. So yeah. we're looking at a lot of data and trying to come up with those cohort of using pattern that, okay, you know, this set of people do this thing. So I can tell you, for example, across countries, people are reading more news on their way to work and playing more game on the way back from office. That makes sense, right? Yeah. Because you're trying to get ready for work yeah. and make sure you know everything that... Yeah somebody's going to ask you about, yeah. you know, what, what happened to our competitor? <laughs> you <know>? Yeah. <laughs> you want to have an answer yeah. to that, otherwise yeah. you look uh, yeah. not informed, right? Yeah. Um, and that's why you're going Android first. You, you yeah. pro it's probably hard to do this on iOS because exactly. of the limitations. You're not yeah. allowed to look at all the data. It's slightly more restrictive than Android. Definitely. Very cool. Uh, tell me about your company that you're trying to build with this. So mm -hmm. you, right now you have three people, right? Yeah, so we're three co-founders. Me, uh, Michael, Maya, and our third co-founder in India is Dipanch. Yeah. So we're three people team. We built it in like six months of time. Very cool. And, uh, yeah, my background is primarily in product management and partnerships. So before this, I was in a company where we developed like some 20 apps and uh, we got uh, 53 million download worldwide. So, and uh, I wanted to create this thing all the time. So I quit the job and started this. Michael has been a server side guy and he he's the guy behind all the intelligence of server and algorithmic stuff we do. Yeah. And Dipanch is the guy who developed the whole client side magic. This is really a, in the early phases right now, mm -hmm. both as a company and as a product genre. Mm -hmm. uh, the Google Glass is mm -hmm. uh, giving me a taste of where it might go in the mm -hmm. future. Mm -hmm. Are you thinking about Google yeah, definitely, Glass? Definitely. Yeah. See, this is the context 
okay we know your context and then this uh, mobile phone become just an another surface where we can like show the recommendation maybe it's we can speak into your ear sometime that hey robert uh, you're next to this uh, good sandwich joint maybe you want to check this out you know so uh, for us the medium of delivery is not what we are like married to we're not married to a certain surface we are what we're married to is a certain use case maybe we can do best via whispering in your ears maybe we can do best via uh, projecting onto a surface like uh, on a projection surface or maybe something on it maybe something like you have those apple watches coming out yeah uh, maybe if you go away from your phone uh, we can look at the bluetooth link and say oh we can like simply buzz it and say you're maybe forgetting to pick your phone or something like that yeah so these are the intelligent use cases which can be done maybe uh, by looking at the data intelligently and that's what we're trying to serve. No, that's really cool. I can't wait to uh, use it because yeah. it's the kind of thing that I think is, is sure. going to be a big deal in yeah. the future. I'd love to. Um, your funding uh, is right now is Angel. Tell me what you're thinking of okay. with your company. Yeah, so we have some like seed investment. Actually, we got some commitment from seed investment back home in India. And like mm -hmm. we are in conversation with few people over here in Valley. So yeah, we will, I'm confident that we'll get some, some seed funding and uh, so that. it's early days. You yeah, know, very early. You, you, yeah, haven't, very you haven't even gotten your Series A yet, right? No. <laughs> not, not, not <laughs> but it's looking pretty good. It comes out, uh, this is not out yet on the market, right? Yeah, so it, in uh, private beta. It'll be out in uh, two of, weeks? Yeah, a couple of weeks. Time. In the Play Store, right? Yeah. On Android. Definitely. And it'll work on all Android phones, or do you need a high-end Android phone? So right now we're supporting only Jelly Bean and ICS devices, and we recommend for the best experience at least 1 GB of RAM. Yeah. Yeah, but like going forward, we'll see like whether to go backward and support gingerbread or like is there a battery hit on the on, on using no, this? Uh, not much essentially so what we do is we do very intelligent pooling of data here so we don't for example look at uh, we're not like pinging the radio all the time to read the cell tower id we first look at we have a listener we look at the motion sensing because cell tower id is only change if there's a motion right yep. you know so first we look at the motion sensing and then we try to pool in the data so we have optimized we spend a lot of time kind of looking at those uh, data point. We don't sync it all the time, so we sync it only when the certain variables are met, parameters are satisfied, and then only we sync. So right. Very cool. Yeah. Where do we learn more about Signals, your company? Yeah, so you can visit our website, it's thesignals.net, www.thesignals.net. Very cool. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming in and showing Thanks this to me. Thanks. It's really good stuff for the book. So. Thanks. Thank you.